Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at an exercise or a CPA exam simulation that deals with capital gains and capital losses. Now this could be a simulation where I can give you four different questions and this is how I'm going to solve it or I can give you this information and give you four different questions with four multiple choices and ask you to answer the same multiple choice. What I'm trying to say is any simulation could be turned into a multiple choice. Any multiple choice could be turned into a simulation. The key to solve any simulation or any multiple choice questions is to understand the concept, which is this is what I pride myself on, on helping you understand capital gains and capital losses. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. During, 20, during the year 23, NOAA Corporation, so we're dealing with a corporation, has, met, has net short-term capital gains of 17,000, net long-term capital losses of 107, and taxable income from other sources of 480,000. This is year 2023. We are also given year 2022, year 2021, year 20, and year 19. Well, we are told how capital losses are treated for the year 23, assuming NOAA is a corporation. Well, assuming NOAA is a corporation, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to use the losses to offset any gains. Well, we have lots of losses. So we have gains of 17,000. We have losses of 107. So we're going to be able to wipe out all the gains so we don't have to pay taxes on the gain. Matter of fact, it's not only we don't have any capital gains to pay taxes on, we're going to have $90,000 of excess losses. Well, what can we do with, not, with this $90,000 of excess losses? Well, this is a corporation. Well, what amount? So we answer the first question. The first question is, what can we do with the, with the excess gain for 2023? Nothing for 2023, not applicable. But we can carry back this amount. How can we carry back this amount? Well, we're gonna take this 90,000 of losses and we can carry it back three years. And we're gonna start with the earliest year, 2020. The year 2020, we have $20,000 of capital gains. We can wipe this out. In the year 2021, and we should have leftover, we have $27,000 of capital gains. Again, we'll amend the return and we'll get a refund, wipe this out. In 2022, we have 22,000. Oh, year 2022, 22,000. 22,000 of capital gains. Also, we can wipe this out. So let's see. So of the 90,000 that we have in carry back, let's go ahead and use use it use it up. 90,000 taken away 20, taken away 27,000, taken away 22,000. I'm going to have leftovers of 21,000 of capital losses. What am I going to do with this 21,000? This is the amount that's going to be carried forward. I'm going to take this. So the answer for the amount carried forward is 21,000. And I can carry forward this for five years. Now, the question becomes, what if Noah was an individual? What if Noah was an individual rather than a corporation? What could Noah do? Well, here's what could Noah do. First, Noah will net the capital gains against the capital losses. And Noah would have... Again, $90,000 of excess losses. What are we going to do with this excess losses? This excess losses of this amount will be able to use up $3,000 this year as capital losses. We can take those capital losses this year. Of how much? $3,000. Of the $3,000, what's left is $87,000. What are we going to do with this $87,000? We're going to carry this losses of $80,000. $80, We're going to carry it indefinitely until we use it up. So the next years in the foreseeable future, simply put, any as an individual, Noah could generate capital gains up to 87,000 and don't pay any taxes on them. Why? Because Noah can use the carryover of long of long-term capital losses. They are long-term capital losses to wipe out any capital gains. 
So you want to make sure you know the difference between the two. Am I dealing with an individual situation? Am I dealing with a corporation? Once again, this could be a, a multiple choice, four different multiple choices. Tell me what happened in 2023. What's the amount of carry back? I could e even ask more than four multiple choice questions about a question like this, or it could be one whole simulation. What should you do now? What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures. Look at additional resources, lectures, multiple choice, true false. That's going to help you. An important topic on the CPA exam and the enrolled agent as well as your accounting courses. Capital gains and capital losses for corporations as well as individuals. Good luck. Study hard. And of course, as always, stay safe.